I have the craziest story ever. Not really, but like, so last week was when my Honda B got wrecked, right? Well, that same day, I was go leaving work, and um, not even 10 minutes away, I, I went to a gas station because it was just doing a weird sound whenever you would start it. And at first I was like, okay, something's giving out. I don't know what it is. So I tried to start it again and it, it didn't start. But you could hear like a metal on metal, like grounding sound. And I was like, oh no, like I either ran out of oil or it's the starter or something. But the sound was like, it sounded like it was dead. Um, so, guess what I did? I bought an engine, because I was like, yeah, my engine's toast. And I bought the engine, we go to flip the car around, and I'm like, I'm gonna try to start it. The car starts. So now I have an engine, and... It still made that sound, right? So, took off the starter, tested it, it was bad. Well, now I have a $180 starter and a $1,200 engine. So, I'm either going to keep it or sell it. So, I don't know. So, let's go and install the starter and see how it starts. AutoZone. Manufacture word. I didn't film this, but there are two twelves. Oh, the crop is hot. Let's see if I can get in here. Don't forget to put back on your starter cable. Comes with a lock washer and net. Put your battery terminal all back on. I'm mad that I didn't record the sound of the old starter because God, it sounded like <laughs> death, man. I mean, I guess the sound would be more of like a screeching metal on metal sound. I don't know. Wow. Hello again. We're going to be doing an engine bay.
clean very much needed I look ridiculous but the Sun is shining and it's probably like 80 to 90 degrees right now guaranteed it's Texas um, let's get to it so as you can tell it is filthy under here we're gonna clean all this grease up I'm changing the valve cover gasket because I'm pretty sure that's where it's leaking from but who knows so again very much needed I mean it is thick and a lot of it's just like dust and grease and bugs so I'm very excited first thing I'm going to do is agitate with a little like detailing brush and then I'm gonna blow it off with um, my Milwaukee vacuum and then we'll start wiping things down all right Let's see a lot of it's dust so it should be pretty easy clean I went ahead and took off the battery and the air box. I should have done it in the first place, but I was not thinking. Or, I didn't want to take it out, but... That's the point of an engine bay clean. <laughs> Duh. Uh, next step is to do like a wet process of like soapy water. Um, <clears throat> just make sure everything is pushed in that's anything that was electronic um obviously taking the battery off so you don't cause a, a short circuit um and let's start So, since I don't have a, um, I have a Dremel, but 
don't have a wire wheel for it. So we're going to have to do my drill. And we're going to clean up the manifold. Now we're going to get our heavy duty tub of towels to get an even deeper clean. I've already started. I forgot to film. Um, not that you see this, but you know, this. You know how towels are thick. You almost can't even like get into crevices. So this is going to be nice to get a deeper clean. Obviously, it would be nicer to have no gloves, but All right, this is the best I could do for now. A lot of it is pretty thick from usage, but how it looked like before was terrible. There's your valve cover gasket kit. It has spark plug and the little valve cover seals. And your gasket Honda Bond. Now before you open your package, make sure that it's correct. Um, <clears throat> because once it's open, it is not returnable. Right. While you're in here, I would be checking your spark plugs and your wires, kind of inspecting everything. I believe there's nine 10 millimeter bolts. and your ground. And Now, when you are cleaning off the excess, make sure you're getting it off with something soft and making sure not to get it inside the head. We do not need 
something so little to mess up a whole engine. In this moment, this is going to be the hardest thing, is flipping it. What I do is, well it should stay put, it looks like it will stay put. So the main thing is going to be your corners. It is never this hard. Okay. We're gonna put some on each end. I don't know if these are sold separately or not. This was open. Hopefully no one and they're missing. And just as a reminder, when you're tightening, tightening these back on, make sure you're doing like a star pattern and not, you know, it goes the same when you're putting, taking off a wheel and putting on a wheel.
Okay.